Hi and welcome to this complete tutorial for the Palma Maxi Skirt Crochet Pattern. Here you have the details. The written pattern is linked in the, the description box below. So we're gonna start with a foundation single crochet chain. This means that we start by chaining two. Don't make it too tight. And now we're going to work into the back bar of the first chain we made. So turn the chain around and work into the first of those bars on the back. You may need to use your finger to help. So Yarn over and pull the thread through, yarn over, pull through the first loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. Now we're going to work through two, two bars here at the top of the foundation chain, foundation single crochet you just started. Insert your hook like this, yarn over, pull through. Again yarn over, pull through first loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. And this is the pattern done that you're going to repeat. Insert the hook in the same way and repeat the steps. The important part is where you insert the hook. So look at the video to see exactly how to place your hook. Repeat these steps until you have the number of stitches given in the pattern for your size. together with a slip stitch. And before or after you have joined, make sure that you haven't twisted the chain. working into this top part of the foundation single crochet you can see that it can be worked both on top and at the bottom and later we're going to work at the bottom of the foundation chain so we chain three and then we're going to work one DC double crochet in every stitch all over the foundation single crochet and I'm using US terms here.
I'm at the end, I've almost made a full circle. I'm gonna make the last DC here in the last stitch, unworked stitch of the foundation single crochet. And then I'm gonna join with a slip stitch in the third chain of the three chains we made at the beginning. And we're gonna work two more rounds like this. So we start the same way, chain three. Work one DC in every stitch all over the round. So after this I'm going to skip forward to after we have made the three rounds. So now we're going to do uh, a different round uh, which is going to be where we fold the folded edge uh, that is going to be the, the top of the skirt. So I chain three and after chaining three I will skip one stitch and do one half double crochet in the next stitch. And then we're going to chain one and make a half double crochet after skipping one stitch again. So that's the repeat. We chain one, skip one stitch and half double crochet in the next stitch, all over the round. Here we're at the end of the round, just going to work the last chain, skip one stitch and join in the second uh, chain. So now we're going to work three more rows again of double crochet. I start by chaining three and working a double crochet in the chain space just after and then I'm going to work two double crochet in every chain space all over the round So just work the last double crochet and join in the third chain. And then we're gonna repeat the same round that we were doing before the folding row. Just chain three, one double crochet in every stitch all over the round and join at the end. Three of these rows again. Oh,
completed the three rounds and it's time to join the, this folded edge together and bring out your elastic band if you want to add one which is helps to make the fit better and to keep the skirt around your waist not to um, fall down so you can wait with inserting the elastic you can start crush crocheting the, um, the edge together and then you can join the elastic later if you find that easier fold the edge along this folding row folding round um, and hold the two edges together so that you have the, the top the foundation single crochet and the last row last round you worked at the top chain three and then we're going to work in the back loop of the front edge and through both loops of the of the back edge so through only the back loop of the first stitch yarn over and then through the back loop only and then through both loops and the first stitch may be a little bit fiddly but then it will get more clear pull through both layers and make a double crochet and then we're gonna repeat this yarn over hook through back loop of the front edge through both loops of the back edge and double cr crochet and then you're gonna make an increase which is stated in the pattern how often you make it so in some of the stitches you're gonna make two double crochet in order to increase the amount of stitches on this first round. to the end of the round you should stitch the elastic together take a thread that is relatively strong a sharp needle and now we're gonna stitch the two ends of the elastic together so that it's stable and will not unravel uh, with use
go back and forth a couple of times and then also attach the thread in the fabric. Now that we have attached the two ends of the elastic, we can finish with um, working the round in double crochet. Join with a slip stitch in the top chain. Now that we have our folded edge, we're going to work in the same stitch pattern for a number of row rounds. And this is YDC, where we are working in between the two DC from the previous round. And the stitch count is going to be the same now for every round. So keep an eye on your stitch count so that it's not increasing or decreasing. It's a simple stitch pattern, as you see here, you are simply working in between the two previous DC from the previous round. The only thing you have to do is to vary the beginning and the end of the round in order for your work for the, um, the seam not to start spiraling. So what we did on this round was that we skipped the first space there in between the chain 3 and the first DC and that means that we are working the very last space before the chain 3. So this is one type of round and then I'm going to show you the other type of round and you will alternate these two rounds. So it's like round 1, round 2 and you alternate 1, 2, 1, 2 all the time. So this is going to be round type 2 and we start by chaining 3 as usual but you see that we are making the first DC in the absolute first space here uh, as opposed to the previous round where we skipped this first space. And then you keep working in the same way all the way until the end. this type 2 round and then we're gonna make the last DC in this space here and then we're gonna skip the space where we made the last DC on the previous round and directly join with, the sing with a slip stitch in the top chain. So alternate these two rounds and keep an eye on your stitch count and then um, I will skip to 
the end of this section. We're gonna make three sections and this is the first section. So now we've finished this section, the first section, and we're gonna chain one and make one slip stitch in every stitch all over the round. And this will make the contrast between the different sections more clear. That's why we're making this slip stitch round. stitches here and then join with a slip stitch through both loops of the first first uh, slip stitch you made now we are going to start the second section on the skirt which has a slightly different stitch pattern than before and for this round we're also going to work in between the stitches from the previous round. So I'm skipping ahead to the next space and then I'm chaining four. And now I'm going to DC in between the stitches from the previous round, like in the previous section. But this is only for the first round. So chain one and DC in between the two previous between the two DC from the previous round. So the difference is that we are making a chain one in between every DC. So be careful uh, not to forget that. It's easy when you've done the white DC before this. Around here just gonna make the last stitches DC chain one DC in the last space chain one and join with a slip stitch in the third chain We're going to work the pattern as it's going to be for the next number of rounds. Check the pattern for how many rounds you're going to work. You will chain 4 and DC in the DC, next DC on the previous round. So it's a, like a fillet pattern. Chain 1 and DC in the DC from the previous round. And this is how you're going to work all over the round until the end. And again, you will have to do an adjustment for your work not to spiral. So here I'm going to show you, after you join the round and you have worked three 
rounds, it's time to adjust the beginning of the round. So you will just slip stitch in the chain space and slip stitch in the DC. And then you're going to start the round from there. So this is something you do every fourth round. You just make this small adjustment. section 2 we've made all the rounds stated in the pattern and we're gonna make again one round of slip stitch all over the round so slip stitch in the chain space and slip stitch in the DC one slip stitch in the chain space and one slip stitch in the DC all over the round until the end And now we're gonna start the third section of the pattern. So chain four and we're gonna make a treble crochet in the same place where we made the, the chain four. So notice that, note that this is a treble crochet, not a double crochet as before. And this yarn tends to split a little bit, that's why I'm struggling. Two, so this is basically two treble, treble crochet and now we're going to chain six. And then we're gonna skip two chain spaces and work in the, the chain space after that make one single crochet and we're working over the slip stitch row not into but over the that row round again chain six and two treble crochet again after skipping two chain spaces and working in the chain space after that and this is basically the pattern that you're going to repeat. Two treble crochet in the chain space, skip two chain spaces and chain six and single crochet in the next after skipping two chain spaces.
end the round by joining with a slip stitch in the treble crochet. So this pattern consists of two rounds that alternate and now I'm going to show you the second type of round. Chain one and single crochet in the top of the second treble crochet. Chain six and treble crochet in the single crochet from last round. Make another treble crochet so that we have two. And then uh, chain six again and single crochet in the second treble crochet, in the top of the second treble crochet. And again, this is the pattern that we're going to make all across the round. And it's basically the same round like the previous one, just that we are starting at different points in the pattern. So now alternate these two rounds for as many rounds as the pattern states for your size and then I'm going to show you the last part. to end on a round that starts with two treble crochet and now we're gonna make a preparation round for the for the finishing rounds chain one and single crochet in the second treble crochet chain six Then th the difference is that we are making a double crochet in the single crochet and not a treble crochet. So just one yarn over. Then we chain six again. And now it's the same as on the previous rounds, so we are making a single crochet on the, in the top of the second treble crochet. So the only difference this round is that we are making a double crochet into the single crochet instead of two treble crochet. Join 
the end of the round with a slip stitch. And now we're going to chain one and work five single crochet in the chain space, uh, which consists of six chains. So we are making a decrease in the amount of stitches. And for every chain space on this round, you're going to make five single crochet. And in every stitch, you're going to make one stitch. And those stitches are both single crochet and double crochet. And then there is an adjustment uh, in order to get the right amount of stitches for the next round. So follow the instructions in the pattern. slip stitch in the first single crochet. And now we have two rounds remaining and now we're gonna make a round with DC and chain spaces. So we start by chaining three and then making three DC. Skip the first stitch there under the chain three and DC three. that we're going to chain three and also skip three stitches before we continue with seven DC. So skip three stitches and then continue with seven DC. again chain three and skip three stitches and this is how the pattern repeats 7 DC chain three and skip three stitches and repeat this all over the round Thank you. 
last DCs of the row round so that it becomes also seven here and join in the top chain. Now we're gonna make the absolute last round. So we start by chaining one and single crochet into the first stitch and also into the two following stitches. One more single crochet in the chain space and then we're gonna chain three and make a picot here over the chain space. Chain three and then turn around the chain and find the back bar of the first chain and put your hook through this back bar yarn over pull the thread through and slip stitch so that it creates the picot and then you're going to single crochet in the first DC after the chain space. And then you're going to make two more single crochet before you make the next picot. make one more picot and skip one stitch after the picot before you uh, single crochet again in the next stitch. And this is how the pattern repeats uh, with uh, picot and single crochet all over the round. showing the end of the round. the last round and your skirt is ready. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and pattern and that you are happy with your skirt. Let me know by commenting or sending me an email or upload to social media and if you like the video then please subscribe. Bye bye!